Today in Rate That Character, Klonoa. It's finally time, so please stop asking. Hello and welcome to Rate That Character, the show where a member of the Source Gaming team discusses their opinion on a character's chances for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So even though information on the game has finally dropped, we do know that there are more newcomers to be revealed, and thus the series isn't going anywhere. But do remember that this is not the view of Sakurai, Source Gaming as a whole, or any other member of the community. With that out of the way, my name is Nantenjex, speaking on behalf of Nerbion, and let's see who today's character is. Klonoa is a cheerful, naive, but also energetic cat, bunny, mammal thing? With a cute Pac-Man icon on his hat. You know, in case he got lost in the mall, you would know who to return him to. Anyway, he usually doesn't have a hard time to befriend others, and one day he found a magical ring with a spirit named Hu Pao living inside. Thanks to this ring, he's able to inflate enemies and hang on objects. He is a highly requested character for Smash, but does he have what it takes to play with the big boys? Like with many mascot influenced characters, Klonoa's design stands out and is very recognisable. But this is not his only unique aspect, as he also offers an interesting moveset. In his games, Klonoa is able to defeat his opponents by going all deviant art on them, inflating them, picking them up and throwing them away. Of course, this gameplay mechanic would need to be tweaked in Smash Bros, but his moveset can be based on picking up fighters with a bigger emphasis on throwing them instead of directly damaging them, with kicks and punches. Throwing is technically a technique every character can use, but Klonoa's could have a unique twist, and this is just one of many ideas to make Klonoa stand out. Klonoa is obviously very popular. We received many, many requests to rate Klonoa. Klonoa has a very dedicated fanbase, but not only in the gaming community, even inside the gaming industry, and in Bandai Namco itself. Hideo Yoshizawa, the director of the first Klonoa game, noted that there are many Klonoa fans inside Bandai Namco's company, and this is very noticeable. Klonoa is one of the characters with the most cameo appearances from Namco, and has appeared in many games like the Tales of series and sports titles like World Kicks and MotoGP, or crossover projects like Namco Cross Capcom, and many more. Klonoa had a strong presence in many of Bandai Namco's games. And like the Namco's Tales studio back in the day, Namco also dedicated a whole studio for creating Klonoa titles with Klonoa works. Heck, the reason why the Klonoa remake for Wii in 2008 was produced is a sign of Bandai Namco's love for the character. According to Hideo Yoshizawa, when Bandai and Namco got merged in 2006, Executive Vice President Shin Onuzawa, coming from Bandai at the time, actually requested a new Klonoa title as he was a huge fan of the series. This is one of the reasons why Bandai Namco greenlit the production of the remake of the first Klonoa game. Speaking of which, when was this game released again? Oh. To emphasise the tragedy of this, this is Klonoa's last appearance in his own game. Since then, it went awkwardly silent around the lovable mammal creature, and this is for a very specific reason. In an interview with Gaming Moe, Hideo Yoshizawa revealed more specifics on the remake project. Despite the request from Shin Onizawa, a whole new Klonoa project was seen as too expensive at the time, and the Wii remake was produced to test out the waters. If the remake succeeded and sold well, it would have revived the Klonoa franchise, and they would be allowed to create the third title alongside a port of Klonoa 2. However, the remake project flopped, unfortunately, and the port of the second game as well as the long-awaited third title never came to be because of the very poor sales of Klonoa on the Wii. This makes his status inside Bandai Namco also very uncertain, as the company has since stopped referencing Klonoa and dropped him from crossovers like Project Cross Zone. Klonoa Works doesn't exist anymore, and the series driving force, Hideo Yoshizawa, left the company to go freelance. So it's unsure if anyone from Bandai Namco would request Sakurai to add Klonoa as a fighter in Smash Bros. Now there is a Klonoa movie in production, 
But we don't know much about this project. We can't say if this is a Bandai Namco effort to push the Klonoa brand, or if this is more of a passion project by fans and some key members from the original development team. And considering that Bandai Namco never sent out a press release regarding this project, or announced it on their social media accounts, we can assume it's probably more of the latter, and Bandai Namco just licensed it out without having any plans to revive the franchise again. He has a very memorable character design, but he's not really an icon. The series itself didn't leave a mark in gaming history like similar stars Sonic or Crash Bandicoot. He does have a very dedicated fanbase, but even this couldn't make the second game successful, which is why it went silent until the remake. Klonoa would even have to face rivalry in his own home. There are more iconic characters from Bandai Namco that have yet to be in Super Smash Bros. like Hiachi. Unlike Klonoa, Hiachi is from one of the first, biggest, and most important 3D fighting games of all time, and was already considered by Sakurai as a playable character. Then, arguments for the other Bandai Namco characters, like Lloyd Irving from the Tales series and a Dark Souls character, are much stronger than the ones for Klonoa currently. Klonoa has many friends outside and inside the gaming industry. That's a factor that shouldn't be underestimated, and could be one of Klonoa's biggest chances to get into Smash Bros. as a fighter, but that's where it ends. It's a critically acclaimed series, but not a series that left a big impact on the industry like Pac-Man and Sonic. Even the latest attempt of making Klonoa relevant again unfortunately failed, and, and sadly is now in Bandai Namco's list of dormant franchises. Even with him having a unique moveset for Smash Bros., Klonoa's ability would also be perfectly suited as an assist trophy, if not even better there. There is quite an uncertainty in the air about the status of Klonoa, which blows any favourable pros away. I guess it's up to that movie to be a success. Thank you for watching today's Rate That Character. If you liked this video then give us a like and share with your friends. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on today's character and give us a suggestion for a future character you would like us to rate. I want to thank all our patrons, in particular our super patron the Duke of Dorks. A link to his channel can be found below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date and always remember to return to the source.